guys welcome to my channel in this video i want to talk about mary curry's daily routine she usually wakes up around seven and from eight to nine she takes care of her children until the nine arrives so and from seven to eight she usually eats breakfast uh, which is usually uh, bread with butter and some hot tea so it's currently 7.48 um, so I think we should go and make some breakfast and then later on I'm gonna tell you a little about what we're going to do today and about how her life went <laughs> It's currently 8.30, I just had my breakfast. It was a little bit plain to say, but yeah, what can you do? Uh, so, as I said, she usually takes care of young children from 8 to 9, and it's 8.30, and I said I'm gonna use the time to give you a little biography about how she lived her life. Uh, she was born in Warsaw, in Poland, and she studied until higher education. But she couldn't continue in higher education because in Poland women were banned from pursuing higher education. And so she enrolled in a secret institution that was for young uh, Poland youth, I think. And she studied there. And uh, while that, while she was doing that, she also uh, was tutoring and working as a governess and saved up some money and used that money to move to Paris, France and there she got two degrees one in mathematics and one in physics and then she met her husband pierre curry i think and i i hope i didn't put, butcher that and they basically worked together and fell in love before marrying uh, curry her real name was maria escoveska i hope i didn't butcher that but yeah that's that was her real name and yeah, after they got married, they had two children, like in throughout their little relationship, until he lost her husband in an accident. And before that, uh, they both got a Nobel Prize in physics with another person. Like they shared a Nobel Prize. They shared a Nobel Nobel Prize. I don't know why I can pronounce it. <laughs> and then she found two new elements: one named radium and one named polonium, um, because she named it after her. Poland because she really loved going back there but because of the, the, the way things were for women there she just couldn't so she stayed in France and then after a while she lost her husband in an accident then she had to work alone she spent most of her time researching and took her husband's job as a professor in the university and afterwards she got a Nobel Prize for chemistry as well and to this day she's the only person that has two Nobel Prize in two different fields and that's just really admiring. I really admire her personality. I love how hardworking she was. And yeah, her life is really inspiring. And I really felt a lot of emotion reading about her. So I decided to follow a day in her life to see how she lived and to see if I can learn anything from it. So at nine, which is really close to now, it's actually nine. <laughs> So at nine, which is now, she would do research. She would go to her lab and she would be on her way to the lab and do research and probably would start at 10. I'm gonna start now. I don't have to commute time at home. So I'm gonna start now. And uh, for the research part, because I don't really have any research, I'm gonna do my projects. I'm a computer science student in my last semester. So I have to turn into projects for the last semester. And one of them is with you, one of them is with SheCode, so I'm doing the project and also doing it for the university. So uh, for the project of SheCode, I had to watch four videos and also do the whole project while watching the video. And add a dictionary to another project, like it has to be able to turn the page from uh, English to Farsi and from Farsi to English. And I have to implement that, I haven't done that yet. And 
I also have assignments that I have to do, so I'm gonna get into those as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, just to give an update, I it's 10, so it's an hour, and let's see what I've done. As you can see, I've done this one video, and this is how my page looks like. Um, yeah, this just took an hour, and you know, it's hard to believe. It's 12 p.m., and I've just done the project, and yeah. I'm just gonna submit the link. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Yeah, it just took a long time. Oh my god, it's so loud. Oh yeah, it's okay. Anyway, this is how the project looks. And this took two hours. And now it's finally done. Hey guys, so now it's 1 p.m. and I've done a little work on my dictionary, but it's not done yet. And um, yeah, uh, and it's 1 p.m. And at this time, she usually has like a 30 minute tea time, and um, which I not gonna have. Why? Because, uh, well, I'm just gonna eat lunch with my family, and they're gonna eat later. They're not gonna eat now. So I have to do it like in another period, maybe like three or two. So I'm just gonna continue working now and have my tea. She doesn't have lunch time, so you just eat something in the tea time. So yeah, just brought the tea and I will eat later. And um, but I promise it won't take more than thirty minutes. I will be back to work and I will see to the schedule. So I'll be working on my dictionary and I'll show you guys. Bye bye. Okay guys, so I did the translation as you can see. It's not all of the page, but it's some, and it's just to show that I can do this, so I don't have to complete all of this, but yeah. Guys, I'm just giving you an update. I'm pretty tired. It's 3 p.m. I've studied a lot, and I didn't eat that much lunch, but I'm just really, really tired. So I'm just going to study Korean, because that was part of my plan as well, um, for a little while, until I feel better and more energized and jump back into studying for my assignments hi guys i'm back with an update it's currently 4 45 and i've done studying languages let me show you uh, yep a lot of it is on the notes which i'm not allowed to share but this is what i wrote down and yeah now i'm gonna go study software engineering and for half an hour Recorder. Yeah, that's what it's called. And um, we can start resting. No, I'll tell you the plan. Okay, see you later. Bye.
Hi guys, I'm back. I had a nice sleep. I took a nap, but I'm so sleep deprived that I just couldn't. And I just couldn't sleep. You know, you get that. You're so sleep deprived that you just that you just can't sleep anymore, and you're so energized. I could like when I went to bed, I could study for like way more, but I but now I'm just a little bit tired and it takes a lot of for me to function, but. This is what I'm studying. As you can see, I'm studying this after reading this, which is like 33 pages. The text is a little bit difficult to understand. Don't look at it. That's easy. After I read this, I'm going to do the questions related to this slide. And then I'm done for today. Okay, guys, it's currently 10 now. And I just wrote out my assignment top of it. Because that was the plan for today, and at 10, she starts journaling, um, and she finishes by 10.30, and then goes to sleep. The online routine was really good for getting around after this slump, but doing it every day is really hard. I just really praise and admire her. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Tell me whose routine do you want me to try next, and tell me everything you want. See you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye! This is today's diary in my really beautiful handwriting and I'm ready to go to sleep because I'm really freaking tired. Good night guys. Love you.